Hello and welcome to Gabbit Media. I'm Grant Abbott and today I'm looking at the XP Pen Artist Pro 24 and I'll be doing a full review of that and comparing it to other graphics tablets. So in the background you can see some of my work and I was working in Blender and Photoshop sort of looking at it from a 3D artist perspective and a 2D artist perspective. Okay so a bit about the tablet first. It's a 2K QHD display so 2560 by 1440 rather than your normal HD display. Now that's quite nice but it's not 4K so if you're looking for 4K resolution then you'll need to go the brands above which uh, I think Wacom are the only ones doing that at the moment. However it is nice to have that extra resolution because it is a huge screen to work on and that's one of the massive advantages to this. It's so big it's lovely and comfortable to work across, a uh, nice lot of space you don't have to keep zooming in and out of your work and I really like that about this product and that's one of the reasons that I'm probably going to use this as my main monitor or drawing monitor from now on. There's a few other slightly new features that the others in the XP brand don't have. So it's got a USB-C connector, so that's helpful if you've got one of the more modern graphics cards that takes USB-C. And it's good for things like MacBooks or any other laptop that has USB-C connectors. It just makes it a lot simpler. You don't need so many wires. Uh, you, if you don't have the USB-C, you need the HD wire and the USB to plug into your computer. It's not a big problem, it's just a nice fix. It also comes with tilt support that many of these tablets don't and it's got a nice stand and you can get it in a nice good upright position which I really like. Okay so how much does it cost? Well at the moment it's £900 so that's going to be similar in dollars and the closest rival in terms of the XP Pen brand is the Artist 22R and that comes in at 650 so it's quite a jump in price. I would say it's worth it personally and I would go for this model over the smaller model which is only 22 inch um, so it does make a bit of a difference in terms of the screen size, but it's more in terms of the resolution. It's nice because of the big screen size to have that extra resolution to play with. It just makes everything a bit more sharp and clear. So how about the drawing experience? Well, I think it's absolutely fantastic. Really big fan of XP Pen and especially their newer versions of their tablets. I think they've done really well. Now it's not a laminated screen, so there will be a tiny bit of parallax. So that's the distance where your pen hits the screen and where it's actually hitting the surface of the paper, let's say. So you do have to bear in mind that that is evident here, but it's really minimal. They've really managed to get it down quite small. It's a bit more than the Wacom and it does seem to be a tiny bit more than the Innovator 16 which is their new version they came out with recently but that of course is only 16 inch. I don't think it's anything significant. I'm happy using this and I've got a Wacom Mobile Studio Pro and I can plug that into my computer but I'd rather just have this set up so I can use my Mobile Studio Pro as a mobile studio. So in other words, I don't need to keep plugging it in and out. So for me, this is a good enough experience and I use graphics tablets all the time doing artwork and 3D art and I'm really happy with this. This is going to become my main drawing screen. I'm really happy with the response rate. The drawing experience is excellent, nice fluid flowing lines, no problems at all. Really happy with it and that's why I say I'll use it as my main monitor. But it is worth pointing out a couple of negatives and I say this because if money is no object for you and you're a, a pro artist then uh, you're probably using the Cintiq anyway but uh, if you're willing to spend that extra thousand uh, pound or whatever it is then go for the Cintiq because you get a tiny tiny bit less parallax which it may be important to you and there's a very slight pen jitter when I'm moving so if you draw really slow lines <laughs> then you'll notice some slight pen jitter which you won't notice so much on the Wacom Cintiq and you won't notice so much on the Innovator 16. I think it's because it's such a big screen that I'm noticing that and not so much on the Innovator 16 which is the other XP brand. And by the way that comes in about £450 so that's a really good entry level model and I'd thoroughly recommend that one. But these issues are really minimal now and they are getting them really really good and comparable to the Wacom display tablets. The pen is really nice and comfortable. It's obviously modelled on the Wacom pen and you won't be able to tell much difference really. The buttons are really very, very slightly different but it just takes a tiny bit of getting used to and you wouldn't notice it if you haven't used the Wacom before. Now here comes another minor problem. You can't program the pen buttons for different programs. So if I'm in Photoshop, I like the mouse button here or the pen button I should say to be the space bar so I can move around my canvas. Again, it's not a really big issue, but it is for Blender. I must have that button as the middle mouse button. That's crucial to me when using Blender. So if you are going between programs, you will need to reset your pen every time you go to a different program. It's not a difficult process, but it's something you need to think about. 
There are loads of programmable buttons on this. It's got 20 and there's two wheels as well. They've got them on different sides of the tablet, obviously thinking about left-handed people and right-handed people, so they've catered for that. It does make the tablet very big, but it's nice to have those. And those are adaptable for different programs, so you can set them up for different uh, keyboard shortcuts in Blender as to Photoshop or Critter or whatever you're using. Now the one thing that really attracts me to the XP Pen brand is the drivers. I've had lots of problems with drivers recently from other brands that have sent me tablets. But XP Pen, I go onto their website, download the drivers, install them, and they work first time without any issues. And that's a fantastic plus. It's a really big pain if you're messing around with drivers, especially if you're not that computer savvy and you just want to be an artist, then it's a real pain to have to worry about that sort of thing and uninstall things and reinstall things and restart and so forth. And that's why I'm always recommending the XP Pen brand over any other. At the moment, I think they really have it for the drivers and cost. Of course, Wacom drivers, they work as well as the XP Pen. You usually install those and they work first time, but they do cost a lot more. So which would I buy if I hadn't got a display tablet? Well, I use a display tablet all the time, so it's important to me to have a nice big screen and it to be nice and usable. So yes, I'd comfortably buy this, but I'd actually probably go for the Innovator 16. I feel like although it's got an HD screen and this has a sort of HD QHD display, that high resolution anyway, I'd still probably go for the uh, Innovator 16 uh, because of the drop down in price. It's less than half the price of this one. So it is quite a big jump really. And uh, the bigger screen, I do love it and I would rather have it. So I'm happy that I have. But if I were starting out, I would probably buy the Innovator 16 over this one. Having said that, there is the Wacom brand to think about, and they've got the Wacom One, as they call it, and that's the, their version of the cheap screen display. So the problem with the Wacom One, although I haven't used one, I know that they haven't got a laminated screen, so you're going to get a tiny bit of parallax with that, and it's about £600 as opposed to the Innovator, which is 450 and it's only an HD display, and it's 16-inch. So you might as well go for the Innovator 16-inch over the Wacom, and if you wanted to go up in terms of screen resolution and size, then I would go for the XP Pen 24 Pro. And if you want to go for the absolutely seamless, beautiful experience, then go for those really high-end Cintiq, uh, the Wacom Cintiq brand. So I'm very grateful to XP Pen, and as I've said before, I am going to use this as my main display monitor because I'm really pleased with the performance, uh, really pleased with the size, and it's just fantastic to use. But if I'm recommending to artists out there, I'd probably go for the Innovator 16. It's a bit smaller, and yes, you don't have that extra resolution display, but I do think it's better in terms of value. There is the other small uh, point as well to make, and that's desk space. If you haven't got much desk space, then the In Innovator 16 is going to be much better for you. I really like having a big monitor, so I, like I say, will use this as my main monitor. So that about wraps it up. Thanks to XP Pen for sending this to me and thank you for watching. Make sure you comment below and read the comments for any other pointers from other people out there that are using this tablet or maybe your experience with XP Pen and how you've been getting on. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.